this video, I will show you how to correctly install a kitchen sink drain assembly, as well as the faucet. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. Here we go. Here's the drain that I'm going to use, which is Glacier Bay. Let's go ahead and take it off the box. comes assembled which makes it easy to understand how it's supposed to go together we don't need this piece put that aside now this nut and this gasket the gasket i'll show you where that goes that's the flange washer that actually goes inside the pipe undo the thumb screws then this whole back assembly unscrews take it remove it put it out of the way next take this ring out pay close attention to its orientation then take the gasket out gasket goes from under the sink this area we put plumber's putty all right, let's grab our plumber's putty. This is a stain-free plumber's putty that I use. Take a small ball of it out, start rolling it out, making it in the shape of a rope. Then lay the rope you made in the drain area looks like i need some more that's the time to roll up your sleeves take a little bit more again roll it up and finish the circle there we have it now it's time to grab the drain, center it, and then carefully hold, put the gasket from underneath, then the ring that we took out, remember the orientation, and rotate the nut assembly clockwise same with the thumb screws this process you have to go back and forth between the thumb screws until the assembly is nice and tight the way you can tell is some of that plumber's putty is going to ooze out that's a good sign take the extra stuff out and put it away now we're going to go ahead and put the faucet and the hose together. But first, here's a word from our sponsor, Red Disc Seal. Purchase yours today from reddiscseal.com. Same thing again, use the same plumber's putty. Some people don't like to put plumber's putty here because of the gasket that comes with the faucet. However, as an additional layer of protection, I like to do that since these machine surfaces are not perfect. So there's my gasket that comes with the faucet assembly. There's the faucet. The name Moen goes on the front side. Line it up with the gasket. Next, let's grab the mounting nuts. 
So these one each gets screwed into each of the connections for the hoses, the hot and cold. So tighten it up until you see that plumber's putty ooze out. Again, going back and forth. This is a good sign. There's some extra plumber's putty that oozed out. So next I take my razor blade and clean up the rest of the plumber's putty. However, you have to be extra careful to make sure you don't scratch the surface of the sink. Then do the same thing with the sprayer holder. Once all of that is in place, and we've taken out all the extra plumber's putty, sprayer goes in, and here's a connection that's supplied with this mowing. First you have to remove that cover that was there to protect the o-ring. There is a short side and there's a long side that snaps in. Short side snaps into the assembly. Then the sprayer snaps into the longer side. Keep that in mind. To release, push the button and release. Next, we're going to assemble the hoses. These are the supply line hoses. Hot and cold. I use a little bit of a Teflon tape, not for sealing purposes, but to make the process of assembly easier. And the Teflon tape goes on clockwise. Otherwise, it will unravel on you. So clockwise, I give it one or two turns. Since it's a very slick material, makes the assembly screwing on the hoses easier. The sealing is done with the seals that they're inside the hose. Do both of them, then use a wrench, turning it clockwise to tighten each connection. Job well done. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification in order to receive notification when my next video is posted. Here's underneath and here's what the top side looks like. Video was brought to you by Just For You and thank you for watching and don't forget to get your red disc.